Massachusetts actually like the Giants. Scott Gunt met up with some New York fans. And down goes McNabb again, and this time it is Strahan. You know, they're kind of a Cinderella team. No one expected them to be here. But as you know, in this part of the country, anything that says New York on it will draw hisses. Uh, well, just around the building alone, uh, I, people just look at me and say, what are you doing wearing that tie? And, you know, they, they, they give me dirty looks. Lawrence Police Chief John Romero was born and raised in the Bronx. He takes lots of grief about his tie and lifelong love of the Giants in an office that sports Patriots banners all around. It's been tough, especially during the uh, Yankee Red Sox uh, their baseball season and, uh, and now football as well. Uh, it's been pretty tough. Tough to be a Yankee Giant fan in, in New England territory. The pride that I have is being a Giant fan uh, you know, kind of outweighs everything. Apparently, if you look hard enough, you can find them. Gary Romanowitz of Waltham isn't from New York, but he has loved the Giants ever since he was a child. This was giant country uh, way before uh, the Patriots came into existence, and the fact that there is still there's still roots here. So of course you would expect these Giants fans to be hiding on Super Bowl Sunday. I mean, you wouldn't think they'd want to show their face, but here at this bar in Boston, there is a big party planned. 50 Giants fans who will be celebrating in the shadow of one of the biggest I hate New York places around. Raised and uh, brought up on the New York Giants. But it's a tradition here, too, when you've landed in the middle of Patriots Nation. Yeah, well, we look, we're, we're excited about it. Well, we say good luck to them. At this Pizzeria Uno in the shadow of Fenway Park, New York transplant Patrick McCrossan and the rest of the Giants faithful will gather around the TV and libations to take in the Super Bowl. Never mind the Yankee beater decor. We've become quite a family watching our team, um, you know, kind of do the unthinkable every day. Is it hard to believe that there are 60 people in New England that want the Giants to win? <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> Does anybody want the Giants to win is a question. Des Sherry manages the bar where all of this will go down. He's happy to have the business, but let's face it, this bar is just feet away from Fenway. They can cheer all they want. At the end of the day, it all matters who wins. It's going to be a blue jersey, and it's going to have a New England Patriots on the top of it. From the tiny island that is Giants Nation, I'm Scott Yunt, NECN. Eh, it's a free country. Let them live for the Giants. Giants <laughs> I know. Go figure. Coming up.